Hi YouTube, today I will be showing you how to install SDL MAME on Linux. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is click on the link provided in the video description or copy and paste the URL into your browser. Once you have done that, you should end up in the SDL main for Ubuntu download page. Now under the file section, please download the package that's appropriate to your operating system and your architecture. In my case, since I'm running a 32-bit operating system and a 32-bit processor, I will be downloading the 32-bit package. Okay, and once it's downloaded, please navigate to your directory where you save the file. By default, mine is set to download all my downloads in the download directory. Okay, now that it's done, I will go ahead and browse to my download directory there's the package and what I'm going to do is right click on it and open it with the GDB package installer now you can open it with the Ubuntu Software Center but I don't like doing that because sometimes it takes forever and with the uh, Debian package installer it's just quick there you go easy now in my case I already installed it that's why you see the reinstall package option enabled in your case you probably don't have it so just just say install package once you've installed it then we can move on to the next step and open up our terminal to configure the main emulator so we need to configure the main.ini file to enable it or to even find the file just enter this command and it should list it for you as you can see here the main.ini file is in the etsy main directory so I will use another command to fetch me that configuration file so I can edit it so there you have it now the first thing I'm going to do is switch or change my ROM path okay you guys can change it to wherever you have set your ROM directory to be as you can see here these that are listed here are two different directories one is in your home and then the other one is in your root directory following this path now I don't want that to happen so I'll just delete this part of it just to make sure that it stays in my home directory now I'm gonna scroll down because there's still other settings that I want to change for example I want to be able to use a joystick so where it says core input options you can see where it says joystick all you have to do is just erase that or delete that and type in one to enable it I will continue to go down because there's more settings that I want to enable now for this tutorial I'm going to enable window mode because I don't want it to start in full screen mode because it will conflict with the screen casting program so I hit A1 on for window mode once uh, you've done making all the uh, configurations you want just go ahead and save the document and close it once that is done we will go back to our home directory and notice that the ROM path that I chose is happens to be under my home directory but also has to be happens to be a hidden directory so to view the hidden files in Linux just go ahead and hit the control plus H button and you should see it 
it's under the dot main folder now in here I'm going to create the ROM folder type in ROMs and I will go back to my desktop and I'll just open a new window and I can see here I got ROMs in here already that I have downloaded previously just go ahead and copy these into my dot main ROMs folder once I've done that I can go ahead and start the MAME emulator by typing in MAME in the command line interface of their terminal and you should see it here okay so I will browse to one of the games that I have been to download there it is er guys you should start it and we are good to go so as you can see here it was really easy steps to install and download MAME and slight modifications here and there to the configuration file to enable MAME as you see it here but in our next tutorial I will be talking about um, installing a front end to SDL MAME to simplify things for you if you're still having trouble using the command line interface or trying to locate the configuration files in Linux now I thank you for watching this video guys if you have any questions or comments let me know like I said I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can please subscribe until next time guys I hope you enjoyed this video take it easy fellas see you next time